What's good people, Sam O'Reilly from Fight Talk. I'm here, State of Mind Fitness Hammersmith, Dino Richardson. How are you, mate? Yeah, we're good, mate, how are you? Your head's steaming, mate. I've seen that hard work you're putting that sparring <laughs> in. It's cold, it's cold. I'm just standing about for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's touch on your last fight. Yeah. Big arena fight. Uh, yeah. George Grove's show in November, Wembley Arena. How did that feel, man, being out there in front of all those people? Big, big show. Yeah, that was... I think I've got to say that was probably the best night of my life so far, because uh, I've always gone to boxing there, whether to support I see George there in my first fight, and I went to go see live. And then supporting Mitchell Smith, who's a local boy to me there. So it's somewhere where sort of um, I wanted to, if I ever did turn professional, always wanted to box there. So to get the chance to do that, and then the support I got while I was there was unbelievable. So I think me and Dan Dan was after the main event, and anyone that was there would say like it was buzzing. It was we had most of the arena to ourselves. So yeah, it was a wicked night. Wicked night. How did you rate your performance on the night? You, uh, you obviously you got another yeah, yeah. stoppage. Yeah, I got another stoppage, which. I wasn't expecting because I see the geezer normally fights uh, middleweight. I found out afterwards that he's actually he held a German geezer. I can't remember his name to a 12 round split decision draw. So um, I wasn't expecting to stop him, especially because I, I never sparred. I sparred Josh Taylor uh, just before his fight against Dave Ryan, and then the next week I got cut in sparring. So I didn't spar for about four or five weeks before before the fight. So I was a bit worried about my timing. So if if you did see my fight, I was. I, I, was, I was taking a lot of shots on the gloves because I just wanted to get my timing back a little bit and then I started to land a few shots and then after that I, I felt comfortable and then it just felt like when I landed cleanly it, it hurt him so um, I, didn't, I didn't let that affect my performance where if I did catch him I, did, I didn't want to go rushing either at one point I did and then I slipped over like an absolute donut but um, yeah no nah, when when he went down the third time, I thought, just stay down now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, I was happy with the performance. So what did you do over Christmas and New Year? Get, get up, was you training? Or? I was training, so I was, I did have a fight offer on this Eubank deal. But, um, so I was training a few weeks before Christmas, and then I, I weren't happy with the deal, so I weren't going to mug myself off, even though it's early in my career. I know you, got to, you ain't going to be fighting for mega money, but I would have been mugging myself off if I took the fight. It wouldn't have been worth my time. So yeah, I trained for them a couple of weeks. Just I, I just really relaxed over Christmas, saw friends and family. It was nice, and then first week of January, just got straight back onto it, and I'm happy. Yeah, you're back in, and obviously part of a big show, on March yeah. the 18th, Bethnal Bedlam. Yeah, it's a great um, show. So how's training for that? Um, and obviously, are you going to change anything up for this camp? Because you're still learning a lot. Yeah, still learning. Um, we're not changing too many things up. Just little bits here and there, what suits us personally. Um, but yeah, at the minute it's, it's a case of don't don't try and fix what ain't broke. To be honest, um, yeah, now we're just going to go through the normal regime of what we do in training, and yeah, just carry on learning. Barry is really good at finding our weaknesses and making us work on it over and over and over again on the bag, shadow boxing. So um, yeah, that's what we're just going to continue to do. What's the plan for the year? Are you looking to pick up any smaller titles or are you just um, happy to keep getting the wins? So I've had, well, I've had three fights now this year. Hopefully I've another three or four take me to about hopefully seven, eight and oh. Um, hopefully and then at the end of the year, early next year, hopefully looking for a Southern Area title or one of them other titles or challenge belts that they're called. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to carry on trying to get the wins and pick up a title along the way. It's a touch, but yeah, I would like to really start aiming to get into position for the southern area and plan week. staying at super light because i know you're nah, not super light wait, I tell uh, you. Super well, <laughs> no I, I'm, I'm gonna be fighting at, um well i was planning to go up because my first couple fights I, I was struggling to make the weight don't know what it was but i don't know if my body just got used to this type of training and the specific diet i'm on but for my last fight at wembley the weight the weight just flew flew off me where i could afford to uh eat a bit more. I think I wanted the fight at 68 kilo, but we matched it at 69.5. So I could um I could afford to have like a little bit more to eat. No 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 shit, nothing like that. But yeah, a bit bit more of a a nice portion. So now so, you can eat a little bit more and not have to worry about getting those last extra couple of pounds yeah, off. Yeah, no, but yeah the next few fights I am looking to bring the target weight down so when I do have to make the weight for a title fight I know I can do it. So yeah staying at world weight for the minute. Cool. Do you want to give a shout out to any of your sponsors who keep you keep you ticking over? Yeah, Alexander James Contracts. They they are a massive help. If if I got something coming up, sort of like if I need a new kit, anything like that, those provide it. 
Same as uh, Clotax Insurance as well. They've been a massive help. Uh, so yeah, them too. And uh, if anyone else wants to sponsor me, it's all uh, it's all appreciated. I think anyone in boxing will tell you it, it is hard this game. But I'm a black cab driver. A lot of people know I've got to take time out to come training, and then I might only go back to work for a couple of hours. I might only nip like a tiny bit of money, and then I've got to go running. So yeah, any. Any help is really, really appreciated uh, from any boxer in the sport. Well, listen, last fight, super impressive. Third fight, third Thank knockout you. victory. I can't wait to see you back in there. March 18th, York Hall, Bethnal Bedlam. Thanks for talking to Fight Talk, Dean Richardson. Cheers, mate. Thank you.